House remains paralyzed as the historic speaker battle wages on. But two years ago tomorrow, it was a very different scene in Washington during the January 6th Capitol riot. Well, now a new documentary re replays the events of that day from the perspective of those who witnessed it firsthand. Here's a look. And so I, I say, um, I'm okay. I'm, go I'm going to be okay. And re in response, my son says, what do you mean you're going to be okay? We can hear gunshots and we can hear glass breaking. Oh, the title of this documentary is January 6th. It is available now to stream on Discovery Plus. And to discuss this, we are joined by the Emmy-winning director of January 6th. He is Jules Noday. Jules, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Uh, let's just thank start, you for having me. Let's just start with what makes this particular documentary different. What, what we wanted to do, my brother and I, was really to do kind of an apolitical documentary. I am not a journalist, we are documentary filmmakers, but what we wanted to show was to go beyond the political aspect, but to show the human aspect of the very real toll that the people, the survivors inside, faced on that day, whether it was the journalists, the senators, congressmen and women, their staff, but especially the police officers. And um, that's what we wanted to show, that under that uniform, under that title, uh, there was that day uh, 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 a human being, a man, a, a woman, a, a daughter, a son, a husband, a wife. And we, sometimes we have a tendency to overlook that. Well, uh, speaking of that, you got access to some of these police officers. They talked to you. They'd never talked on camera before. Mm -hmm. um, here is a clip of one of them talking about that day. I arrive, I get in the line, directly in front of me, I just see um, anger, um, anger, lots of angry, angry people, um, and they appear to think that I uh, am part of the problem. They're saying a lot of very vulgar things. What did you learn from the police officers who had never spoken before? That was really the, the most heartbreaking to, to, to hear of the interviews, was that incredible fight for some uh, hours. There is one place in particular in the tunnel. We've all seen the images. But you have to imagine there was about 30 to 40 police officers, and when they would look over on the other side of that tunnel, there were 25,000 people trying to get in. And it's the stories of giving it their own being putting their lives on the lines literally to save the uh, democracy in a way and and these stories of of courage but also heartbreak and trauma that has followed is is terrible with you know with um, officer brian sicknick died later that night but also four other police officers committed suicide in the months after because of that uh, ptsd what do you think it is about you and your brother that it, these police officers who as alex mentioned hadn't talked before that they decided to talk to you uh, in particular for this documentary. Well, I think it's um, a combination of, of trust. You know, we have a very long process when we make a documentary before we even film. There is months of just earning the trust of people. And also, you know, we're ourselves survivors of trauma. I, um, you know, my brother and I uh, were filming firefighters during 9-11. I ended up filming the first plane and then going inside the tower. So when they look at us, they also see a survivor of trauma and someone who, who, who've done work who, who's really always been um, focused on the humanity and finding that hope, finding that moment, a kind of uh, light in the darkness. And I guess we've done that successfully in the past and they decided to trust us, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And lastly, in, in your first answer, you talked about the idea of trying to take some of the politics out of this, uh, which there, this has become so politicized January 6th. How do you take the politics out of it to try to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again? Well, I think the, the most important thing is first just why we're doing it. We're not, you know, doing an investigation. We're not doing re reporting in that sense. I think by just concentrating on the, the human beings in the middle of that, because at the end of the day, on that fateful day, whether there was an R or a D at the end of, uh, of your name, it, w it didn't matter. Everyone that was in that chamber or in the, in the capital itself feared for their lives and uh, everyone was in the same boat. So by concentrating on this, on, on the stories of courage that uh, every uh, people did, Republicans and Democrats, that's how we show, hopefully, to people who have not 
either been too interested or do not want to know too, too much to see this documentary as a testimony of, of the human nature and, and, and uh, hum, the humanity on display on the good and bad side of it. Well, thank you for what you do, Jules. And by the way, you mentioned your 9-11 documentary. That is just simply called 9-11, just like January 6th is called January 6th. It's streaming now on Discovery+. Plus. Before we let you go, what an impressive uh, set of guitars you have behind you. <laughs> have you done a documentary on guitars as well? No, no, no. Maybe I should. I think it's, uh, it's time to do a nice, uplifting documentary with no uh, terrible days attached to it. Do you play all those? No, not at all. I am actually house sitting, and I, I'm a fraud. This is not; these are not my guitars. <laughs> okay. I wish. It makes you, for a good you, background. You, you fooled us. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank uh, you very I much. I tried to find something else than the usual book uh, uh, bookshelf. Yeah. All right. Well, good good luck and, and congratulations on the launch of the yeah. documentary. Thank you so much. Coming up.